You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the options insider.com. Welcome to the options playbook, the program where we break down cutting edge option strategies and explain how you can incorporate them into your own portfolio. Whether you're looking to grow your capital with some offensive maneuvers or protect your investments with defensive plays, you can find them all in the Options Playbook. The Options Playbook is brought to you by Trade King Group. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to TradeKing.com slash ODD to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through Trade King LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. Now let's open the playbook and get started. Welcome to Options Playbook Radio. I'm your host, Brian Overby, Trade King Senior Options Analyst and author of the Options Playbook. Now, in the last couple of shows, we've actually addressed some listener questions. And one of the things that actually came up was somebody was asking about a new product that has been introduced by the NYSE exchange and those products are called birds and so i have gone out and solicited a guest from the nyse which is bill ryan and bill is associated with the exchange and had a lot to do with bringing this product to market so at this point in time i'd like to welcome bill ryan to options playbook radio how are you doing bill i'm doing well brian thanks for having me on All right. Well, we've had some interest inside Options Playbook Radio and specifically our Facebook page that is surrounded around Options Playbook Radio. A lot of the listeners are asking, what is this new product? And overall, I know that it's a binary derivative. And and at Trade King, we've had a, a few clients that are trading them. But what is a binary return derivative, otherwise known as a bird on the NYSE exchange? Well, Brian, a, a bird is exactly what you said. It's a binary return derivative, and by binary return, we mean one only one or two outcomes at expiration, and it's either uh, the contract is either worth zero or one hundred dollars at expiration. So, binary two outcomes, either zero or one hundred dollars at expiration. Uh, it's a pretty simple concept to understand, um, and it's it's you know like I said, zero or one hundred expiration. Um, most you can make you know, the. The highest value of the contract is one hundred thousand expiration, and because that the contract has a defined value maximum value at expiration, it also carries with it a defined risk. Very interesting. Okay, so what type of birds are out, are out there, and what underlyings do they trade on? Can you trade birds on on all underlyings, or are there just a select few? All right, so we have we have two different types of birds. We have a finish high and a finish low. And a finish high, you can think of as a call. When you buy a finish high uh, bird, you hope that the stock goes up. And the finish low, you can look at the same equivalent as a put. You hope that the stock goes down when you buy the finish low. So we have two ways of playing the market. You can play the upside with a finish high or play the downside with a finish low. Now, we don't, they're not available on all 2,500 or 2,800, whatever listed uh, uh, options we we have out there today. They're only available right now on 14 different stocks. And the 14, you know, highly capitalized, you know, big traders, you know, such as Apple, Alibaba, and the SPY. So those are an example of three of them that are out there. Uh, And they will be trading uh, on about 80 products that qualify um, for birds. So it's a, it's a, it's a small subset of the listed options world uh, that they're available on. All right. So let's talk a little bit about pricing. I've looked at some of the birds that are out there, and, and obviously if, they, if they're if they either going to be zero or they're going to be one, how does the pricing go uh, along with expiration? Let's kind of talk about basically, let's say we have a stock trading at 50 and we buy a 50 finish high. What type, what can we expect from the pricing of that option contract? 
Well, you know, the the, the pricing is, is slightly different than what you see in the listed uh, world, in the standard listed world, and that's because. Uh, because of the defined outcome of $100 per contract, we don't have an in-the-money amount where if, uh, for example, if we buy a finish high and we compare it to buying a call, you know, when you buy a call, if the stock goes up and goes up, your call option can go deeper and deeper in the money and be worth more. Well, because it has the defined uh, benefit of $100 or maximum benefit of $100, it can't trade over a dollar. So, you know, as the stock goes higher and higher, the price of the option does not increase. So the pr- pricing is slightly different. And another interesting aspect about it, Brian, is time. You know, time is great when we're, when we're long and our stock is going up and going up, our call increases in value, and we have more time for this to happen. You know, with the binary, because, again, of that defined benefit of $100, once it goes in the money, the only thing that can happen is it can, it can stay the same or it can decrease. So time is not necessarily your friend once they go in the money. So the pricing of them is, is a, little, uh, a little tricky. If you've got, a, a, say, a finish high, um, strike of 50, and we have stock trading around 50, and we're the day before expiration. You can look at this as what are the chances of this finishing in the money at expiration? And you can look at that kind of sorta as the delta, and the delta would be the price of the option. So if you think there's a 50 50 chance of the finish high being in the money at expiration, its value would be about 50, therefore it would probably trade, you know. It might be uh, quoted 49.51, something like that. You know, 48.52, something around those range. So the pricing is a little tricky. It's different than the standard uh, listed options, um, and and may, and really because of that, uh, you know, hundred dollar maximum value of the contract. All right. So the, what I'm hearing you saying is uh, basically we're kind of looking at probabilities. You know, what's the probability of it finishing one cent in the money or better, right? So that is playing a big part on the pricing of the bird that is trading. So relative to how far it is or out of the money and the actual time period that's remaining in the option contract, it's really What's the chance of that stock finishing one cent in the money or, 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 or not? Is that not correct, Bill? That, that's absolutely right. It only has to be one penny in the money for the contract to reach its maximum value. And so let's talk about one thing for a second. If we could talk about um, basically settlement and all. Uh, it's, the listeners should understand that uh, birds um, settle based on a VWAP, a volume-weighted average price not the underlying stock price. And if you're looking for an, explana- an explanation of the VWAP, uh, your best, best bet is to go to our website and look at www.nyse.com forward slash birds. So again, that's uh, NYSE dot com forward slash birds and we'll have a paper on there explaining the VWAP and this, you know, it's, it's something that you should understand. So we need the option to be one penny in the money to be worth um, $100. Now, if you compare that to a standard listed option, we're not looking for a break-even point. Now, I know many of your listeners are, are option users, and if you know, a quick example would be if you buy a $30 call and you pay $3, we need to get to a 33 break-even for that option to make money. Well, with the binary, we just need this to be one penny in the money to be worth the $100. Hmm. Very interesting uh, outlook on it. Now, can you do this on indexes? Are there any indexes that are available or ETFs? Well, there's there's no index uh, available right now, but there is ETFs. We have the SPY. We have the um, IWM is available. The QQQ okay. is available. So there are some different uh, uh, indices out there. All right. So, so Bill, you said that there's a, a lot of different stocks that are available to, to trade birds on. Are there any index or index type products that you can actually trade the birds on? Yeah, Brian, we, we don't have any index options, but we do have some ETFs. So, for example, we have the SPY, we have the QQQ, we have the the uh, uh, the Russell, the IWM. So, there's a couple of different ETF products out there that that track indexes um, that you could trade birds on. All right. So then let's uh, let's go right down the list here. Um, what type of expirations? How far out? do the birds go and as far as how many different expirations are available relative and, and how far out in time? 
So we have, when we list a, a, a bird, we list five expirations in a row, five Fridays in a row. So there's five weekly options. So, for example, if the first Friday of the month was the 7th, it would be the 7th, 14th, 21st, 28th, and then whatever we end up with in the next month. So we have five Fridays in a row. We have, do have the ability to go further, um, and we may go further if we, if we see uh, a, a call from our customers to add additional expirations. We don't have any plans to add leap but we could follow the standard uh, cycles. So we could go out three, three months, six months on some of these if we see a call from our customers. But right now when we list them, when we list the next bunch and the ones that we have listed now have five Fridays in a row as expirations. All right. And then uh, a couple of things about s strategies, Bill. Um, if I look at a bird, you talked about finish high and you talked about finish low and the fact that the finish high was kind of like a call, finish low is more like a put. And that's on the purchase side of them. But can you sell birds and bring in a credit to your account? Brian, that's a great question, and I'm glad you asked it because I think that's one of the best things ab about the product is that the find risk. You could sell uh, binary options, and you can end up uh, with generating income knowing your risk, and your risk is only $100. And many times you know, in, in my career when I teach options, we come across uh, uh, customers who have uh, – low, low uh, cost base of stock and they'd love to do a covered right against it but they're free to be called away and have a tax event. Well with a binary option you can use that stock as your margin for the short binary and you know take take the uh, income in know that you're risking only hundred dollars and that you won't lose the stock you won't lose the stock and have a taxable event you won't lose the stock and lose your dividend you only lose a maximum of a hundred dollars per contract which le leads me to tell you that the margin is a hundred dollars a contract the less any premium that you bring in so if you sell a binary option for 60 cents you bring 40 cents in as your margin you have your whole risk covered of a hundred dollars and the most you could lose is that 40 cents that you brought in and if you're doing it on a stock that you own, it's easy to point out that, well, then you're kind of covered by the stock, too. So a very interesting covered call. I guess we need to come up with an interesting name for that, but a very interesting yeah. way to do covered calls. Yeah, covered bird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a covered bird. There you go. And uh, so I guess I, I'm going to try to read between the lines here, Bill. So if I'm looking at, at this type of trade, uh, when you have that maximum risk and you're selling a finish high or you're selling a finish low, that's got to be very similar to doing maybe a one point wide put credit spread or call credit spread, let's say in the SPY or whatever your underlying is. Is that not correct? It, it, it's absolutely correct. You can look at a binary option as a one-point vertical spread. You think about a one-point vertical spread, the most you can make is the premium you bring in. The most you can lose is the difference between the strikes less that premium. With a, with a bird, the most you can make when you sell it short is the premium you bring in. The most you can lose is $100 less that premium. So it is, it's pretty identical. All right. Interesting. And so then now, obviously, I probably won't have you on the show because this is actually kind of aimed at retail customers, but retail customers can trade these, these products, correct? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, when we, we looked at, at, the, at the product, we looked at bringing an institutional type product to the retail uh, level. Now, there's a lot of institutions that will do over-the-counter uh, binary options, you know, for payouts that are well over $100. But we looked at bringing a product that our retail customers could use, could use, uh, they, could, they could participate in the upside with less capital than a standard option, uh, compete, you know, um, be on the downside with less capital than a put, and have that defined risk on the sell side. So we brought it with a, with a hundred dollar level with the intention of bringing retail into this market. All right. Well, and that was kind of a loaded question. I kind of knew the answer before I did it because I did want to let you know that uh, Trade King is a, a a big backer of the the birds binary options and trading them on a listed option exchange like the NYSC, such a great exchange that it is. And we are one of the only firms out there right now that allow retail customers to do it. There's a little bit of back end work that it takes with some of the brokerage firms, but uh, we also think it's a great product. And it's got a great life ahead of it. And if your brokerage firm doesn't do it, please, you know, put some pressure on them. See if we can get, get these things rocking and rolling. It's such a intuitive or such just a, a simple idea. Either it's worth nothing or it's worth 100, hence the binary outcome. So uh, with that said, okay, I think that's going to, any other last thoughts on birds or anything that, that I might have forgot to ask you about, Bill? 
No, Brian, I just want to, you know, on behalf of the New York Stock Exchange, thank Trade King and, and thank you for for supporting us with, with the birds. Uh, I just tell our, tell our listeners to make sure you understand that it's different than a standard listed option. Um, and then, you know, if you have any, if you have, uh, any questions, you can send an email to birds at nyse.com, and, uh, and either myself or one or two other people will answer those emails for you, or go to our website. Like I said, uh, nyse.com forward slash birds. We have lots of information on there. We, we only touched, you know, one, one strategy you know uh really here uh we have strategy pieces on our on our on our site, we have plenty of explanations on our site as far as mechanics and and uh, settlement and VWAP and everything else is concerned. And you know, I wish you uh, luck with trading them. Uh, and by all means, don't be shy. Send us an email if we can help. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode of Options Playbook Radio. So. This uh, whole session came because we got a few questions from our listeners about the birds or binary options. So if you have a topic you'd like to discuss on the show or a question you'd like us to answer in the program, you can either go to our Facebook page, uh, and we have a specific page for Options Playbook Radio. Just go to facebook.com slash trade king. Or you can always send your questions directly to me at my email address, which is the options guy at tradeking.com. Don't forget to put the S in the option. And as always, you can connect with me via the Trade King Trader Network and my blog called The Options Guide. So thanks for listening, and we'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, may all the options you bought finish into money and the ones you sold finish out. Thanks for coming, Bill. Thanks, Brian. Take care. The Options Playbook was brought to you by Trade King Group. Anything mentioned today is for educational purposes and is not a recommendation or advice. Options involve risk. Please refer to TradeKing.com slash ODD to review additional risks involved with trading options. Securities offered through TradeKing LLC, member FINRA and SIPC. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.